Hello and welcome to San Fran Fitness and to day two of our kickstart series. It's going to be amazing. Claire's going to do a little warm up for you for your arms and I'll tell you a little bit about it. So today we're going for our biceps and our back. We're using dumbbells. I've got five kilo dumbbells, so around 11 pounds and Claire's going for three kilos, which is around six and a half pounds. Claire's going to show you an adaption, so maybe the easier option, and I'll show you a more difficult option, and it's entirely up to you which one you use. If this is your first time using weights, please take it easy, go for a low weight to start with, then when you get used to it, maybe increase the weights, okay? We're going for 45 seconds of working, 15 seconds rest, during your 15 seconds rest, get yourself ready for the next exercise, this should be great. Is everybody ready? Yes. Let's get it going. Okay, so we're gonna start off with bicep curls. I'm gonna go for both of my weights. Claire's gonna go for one weight. Follow whoever you need to. With the rebounder, be careful with your balance. It's good for your legs. All right, ready. Let's go with the music. We go up and down. Good. Keep your elbows tucked in. Really isolate that bicep. We go up and down. Really good. Keep this going. Ten seconds. All right. Okay, super job. Next one is landmine rows. So I'm just gonna lean forward. Both my arms are coming up and then back down. Claire's gonna go for single arm, yeah? Yeah. All right. Okay, listen out for the beeps. Ready, we go. Up and down. I'm like the student today as well. Oh, it's nice, it isn't is it? It is nice. Good, so keep your elbows close to your body. Just point them up. So today we're really concentrating on biceps and the back. So after this class, should be a slight ache in your muscles. Up and down. Okay, well done. Next one is hammer curl. Again, I'm gonna go for both weights. Claire's gonna go for one. Stick to the beat. Give your arms a little shake if you need to. Okay, ready? Here we go. Up, down. Good. This is where my biceps start to ache a little. Good for the core as well, isn't it? Really good. And this is why we're on the rebounder. Just to help the whole body. A little bit of balance. A little bit of stability. It goes a long way. Good. Up and down. Good, well done. Oh, okay, back fly. So we're gonna lean over slightly, keep the back straight, push the bottom out. We're gonna lift our arms up and then back down again. Claire's gonna go for single arm. You ready? Here we go. Up, down. Oh, I'm glad I'm not doing double. <laughs> I think I wish I was doing single. Good. Up and down. We've done lots of practice with this, haven't we? So I'm already feeling it. Muscles are already sore. Yeah, they are. All 
All right, good, keep this going. Okay, nice. Okay, so we go for hammer twist. So same as last time, we bring it up and then we twist our wrist as we come up and then back down again. Single arm or double arm, it's up to you. Okay, ready? Here we go. Up and down. Up, down. You can even slow it down if you like. Twist and down. How's your biceps feeling? How are they feeling, sweetie? They're good, yeah. Oh. Feeling a little tight now. Ten seconds. All right, good. Okay. Right, next one, we, go, we call it good morning. You come all the way down. All the way up. Good. Try and keep your back straight and your legs straight. Little bend in your knee if you need to. Four counts, we go. One, two, three, four, and up. Good. Down and up. Squeeze your booty at the top. Good. Up, two, three, four. It's all about keeping your core strong. That's it. Down. Up, two, three, four. After this move, we're going down to our knees. A little half hammer, which is nice. Down and up. Last one, down and up. Okay, just safely come down onto your knees. So hammer curl but halfway. So we're just gonna come halfway and back down. We can go for bicep curl, whichever one you feel best. Single arm if you want. We go half and down. So you just come halfway and then bring it back down to the hips. Half, down. Good. Even if you want to, you can add a little twist onto this so you can turn it into a hammer twist. Have a little play with it. All right. Half and down. Okay, well done. Okay, next one, we're gonna to step to the side. I'm going to use two weights on mine, so I'm going to crucifix my weights. Claire's going to go for one. I'm going to go slower. Claire's going to go faster. Pick whoever you want to go with. And off you go. Up, down. Good. Up and down. Good, looking good, keep this going. How's the fast rows going, sweetie? Yes, yeah, starting to feel yeah. it. Okay, well done, good. Ooh. Okay, this time, half and up with our hammer curls. So we start halfway, and then we finish up by your shoulders. Hammer curl or bicep curl, here we go. Single arm or both arms, make this your own. Keep it going, up and half. Well done. So this week is really good, isn't it, Scott, for people who've never done weights before? Yeah, it's excellent. Nice little introduction. Just 10 minutes. And we've only got one more exercise to go after this. And if you're a little bit more experienced, why not go a little bit heavier? 
challenge yourselves. Okay, well done. Okay, last one, row on the other side. Again, I'm gonna crucifix my weights. I'm gonna go nice and slow. Claire's going a little bit faster. Okay, ready? Off we go. Up and down. Up and down. Dig deep, everyone. Last little bit. That's it, you can do it. Almost there. Okay, nice rest job. it there. Put your weights down. It's up to you on or off the rebounder. Give your arms a little shake. Give your shoulders a little bit of a roll. Well done today. I hope you've enjoyed the exercise and day two of our kickstart series. Next we've got day three, which should be awesome. Yep, back on the rebounder tomorrow for a nice little routine with both of us. Yes should be good. Have a wonderful day and we will see you on your next workout. Take care.